Once upon a time, in a far-off kingdom, many years ago there lived a king, a very nice man, and the people loved him. This king had a beautiful daughter, and he loved her more than anything in the world. There was one big problem with his one and only beloved daughter. It seems that the young princess had a serious character flaw. She laughed all the time. I don't mean a little ha-ha. I mean, she'd laugh hysterically almost all of the time. Everything struck her funny. No matter what was going on, even on the most serious occasion, this child princess laughed. Like the time her lady-in-waiting slipped on a banana peel and bruised herself quite badly, the princess howled with laughter. And oh, the time her mother, the queen, dropped a favorite earring into the well in the back of the castle. That's right, princess laughed. This princess laughed so much, at all the wrong times, no one wanted to be with her, let alone play with her. So as you can imagine, she did not have any friends. Poor little princess. The king thought long and hard about the kind of a future his one and only child would have if she continued this rude, inappropriate, laughing all the time behavior. So the king issued a proclamation calling for all of the storytellers in his kingdom to come and tell the princess the saddest story they could think of to get his daughter to stop laughing. The proclamation said, if anyone can make the princess cry, I will reward them with half of my kingdom. Because everyone in the kingdom was a storyteller, everyone in the kingdom responded. People came from miles around and they lined up outside the main ballroom of the castle. The king sat on his throne looking very kingly, shaking his head from side to side. He was very sad, concerned, angry, confused, all at the same time, if you can imagine that. There was also a large audience of people looking on. The ladies in waiting, the guards, the cooks, and the servants all stood around, shaking their heads from side to side. Everyone took a turn telling the princess a sad story. Some people told real stories of sadness and sorrow, while others simply made up a story that seemed sad to them. There was the farmer who told a story about his six starving, raggedy children, the crops were ruined, etc., etc. Someone else told her the story of Cinderella. Okay, maybe Cinderella wasn't that sad because it had a happy ending, but what about the little match girl? Who wouldn't cry about the little match girl? princess in this story, that's who. She laughed hysterically at every single story. At the end of the line stood a small young girl who appeared to be about the same age as the princess. She was dressed in very shabby clothing, wearing a pretty flowered kerchief on her head. On her left arm, she was holding a large basket covered with a red and white checkered kitchen towel. The basket seemed heavy. As the little girl waited, she chipped the basket from her right arm to her left patiently waiting her turn. Finally, the last adult on the line told his story to no avail. Peals of laughter from our little princess. The poor little girl was now face to face with the princess. A hush came over the crowd. The princess stared at the little girl and soon began to laugh uncontrollably, to even think that this raggedy child would be the one to reduce her to tears. Ha! Huh. Some of the guards rushed in to remove the youngster. They began shooing her away. She looked up at the king and begged him to give her a chance. She said, please, your royal highness, let me show the princess to cry. The people stared. The king looked stern and everyone waited. The king, at his wit's end, decided to let the little girl have a go at it. The young child looked around the room. She made eye contact with the king, but did not look at the she placed the basket she was holding on the floor in the center of the ballroom and sat down. She gently lifted the red and white checkered cloth off of the basket, spread it in front of her. It was at this point curiosity got the best of our laughing princess, and she walked to the center of the room and sat down opposite the little girl. A hush fell over the crowd. The little girl reached into the basket pulled out a very large yellow onion and a paring knife, and she placed it in front of the princess. She reached in, picked up an onion and a paring knife for herself, and slowly began to peel the onion she was holding one layer at a time. As she removed the layers, tears began to trickle down her cheeks. She picked up another onion, and the scene continued. The princess who was laughing throughout the scene unfolding, became 
quite still, and the noises of laughter emanating from her throat quieted down to a chuckle, and finally, there was no sound at all. She was completely focused on the little girl's feeling motion. Before long, she picked up an onion and the knife, and she too began to peel an onion. In no time at all, a tear trickled out of the corner of her right eye, then another at the corner of the other eye, and soon a flood of tears came streaming down both of her cheeks. The king was stunned, and so was everyone present. I'm not sure if it was from the fumes from all of the onions, but before long, everyone in the room was teary-eyed and weeping for joy, including the king. Her Royal Highness, the princess, was on the road to learning about tears, be they shed in times of sorrow or times of cheer. The king was overjoyed and made good on his promise. He gave the young, raggedy girl half of his kingdom. He also invited her to come and live in the castle, but she respectfully declined, saying that she dearly loved her own family and that she would be returning to them. Oh, in case you are wondering what happened to all of those peeled onions, I can only imagine that the king ordered the royal cook to make a large pot of onion soup, which he shared with everyone in the kingdom. As for yours truly, the storyteller, I always think of this story when I am peeling onions or when I see another person crying and am moved to tears myself. And this is what I call a happy ending.